Wild balsam apple, also known as Echinocystis labata. This one of the gourd family is a climbing annual, meaning the plant will only live one year at a time, and it grows in a habitat of moist grounds and thickets. The plant grows between 25 and 30 feet tall, and it has a greenish white flower that is in bloom between June and October. The flowers have six regular parts or petals, and there are two different types, the male with numerous staminate and erect branching clusters, and the female pistillate in solitary or small clusters from the same axils as the staminate. The fruit is spiny green bladders that are two inches long, and the plant is a vine with alternate leaves. The leaves have five deep lobes and a toothed midrib, and the vine has forked tendrils. This vine is also called wild cucumber, and it emits a cucumber scent, but it is not known for its edibility. There are reports of this plant causing violent vomiting and diarrhea after consumption. Echinocystis labata has been used by a few American Indians for its medicinal value. The Cherokee made an infusion of the plant and used it for rheumatism, chills, fever, obstructed menstruation, and for kidney ailments. The Menominee and Meskwaki both use the plant as a panacea, meaning cure-all, and as a headache remedy. A poultice of the pulverized roots was applied to the head for headaches. The Ojibwe made an infusion of the roots and used it for stomach troubles and as a tonic. As for the plant's other uses, the seeds were used as beads for jewelry. Hi, I'm Mike Wynn from Plight to Freedom, and I'd like to thank you for taking your time out to watch my video. I made a few changes that I'm hoping will enhance your viewing experience. You may have noticed those icons that I have in the beginning of each video. Well, now there are hidden annotations there, and if you're on your home computer, take your mouse and scroll over the icon in the beginning of each video, and click on one of those icons, and that will allow you to skip forward in the video to anything that you're most interested in. Likewise, at the end of every video, I'll have an end card just like you're seeing now, with those same icons off to the side. Feel free to click on any of those and rehash or revisit something you may have missed or just want to go over again. If you have any extra suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I value your opinion. And if this video has been helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. You can also visit my website, plighttofreedom.com, for more information regarding each of these plants. Again, thanks, and as always, keep your eyes and ears open and your powder dry.